Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome along to game two of the Netflix Cup here in Celebrity FIFA. It's Netflix fiction versus Netflix fact in the big Netflix derby once again today. The first leg, of course, finished in a victory after extra time to Netflix fact. So it means that fiction have to win this one to stay in the cup. Alongside me in the comments booth today, uh, we've got a bit of a different personality because Alan Smith, unfortunately, is in self-isolation during the lockdown here in the UK. So Gary Neville joins me in the commentary booth. Gary, welcome to the show. Well, thanks. Great to be here. Um, absolutely delighted to step up and be in here for Atlin. And I just can't wait. Well, we can't wait either for this incredible match. Join us next. And it's live. So starting for Netflix fiction today in goal is Captain Holt once again, back four of Saul Goodman, The Professor, Jim Hopper and Gus Fring. In the midfield, it's Joe Goldberg, Count Olaf, Arthur Shelby and Marty Bird. And up front again, it's The Punisher and 11 from Stranger Things. Uh, a few new additions to the starting lineup for them, uh, hoping to make a bit of an influence on this game after the first game obviously ended in defeat for facts in goal is Jonathan Van Ness back four of Ja Rule Johnny Versace the Unabomber and Andy King midfield is OJ Simpson Brendan Dassey and Stephen Avery with Luca Magnotta coming in on the left and it's those two up front again Carol Baskin and Joe Exotic looking to put their differences aside and link up once again in this game Gary who do you see as uh, some of the key participants in this game for either team well I think it's going to be a real case of hey hang on what's going on here Sonnet? Oh, Alan, I, I, I didn't realise you'd be able What's to make it for this game. Have, have, you, uh, have you come out of isolation? I have. There's only one reason I'd miss a game, and that's if my cat, Mr Jumbles, is ill. And he's fine. Gary, get out of my seat and get back pit side. Now! So, Alan, really pleased you could join us in the commentary booth then. Oh, uh, you're feeling all right? Well, I am, but uh, I'm, uh, I've had to go on a diet. Started putting on a few pounds of the, uh, the amount of sandwiches I was eating at home. So, uh Today I've got a bowl of bran flakes with some quinoa and a bag of M&Ms. Joe Goldberg, massive oh! chance here and the opening goal. Less than five minutes on the clock and Joe Goldberg has absolutely slammed it past Jonathan Van Ness in goal. It's 1-0 Netflix fiction. Well, Jonathan Van Ness, he can make anything look good, but he made himself look crap there. Well, a lovely finish from Joe Goldberg there. We know he's good at stalking and he stalked his way into the box to slam it past Jonathan Van Ness at the near post and it's 1-0. So Joe Exotic kicks us off with his team a goal down here and uh, Netflix fact have got to produce something to come back. Very early goal though. They've got all of 85 minutes of the game left to try and find an equaliser as Stephen Avery finds Andy King here on the left. Five, I'm looking at five letter word for stripy, big stripy cat. Are you, are you doing a crossword whilst we're uh, recording here? Oh, I'm a bit oh. bored with this game. Here's 11. Could be the chance of a break here as Joe Goldberg plays it back into Count Olaf. Now the Punisher looking to get past the challenge. But Gianni Versace looking solid at the back early on. Oh, very solid. That's all by design as well. He's good at designing things. and uh, It's one thing to make a uh, shirt, but another thing to be solid at the back. Count Olaf now finds the Punisher. Looking to maybe give it back to Olaf here. It's Count oh. Olaf with the strike. And it's 2-0. Brilliant finish from Count Olaf, who marauded forward from central midfield. And he's found the bottom corner. And Netflix fact, find themselves in a real pickle here. Oh, this guy is on fire. And I think he's just got his hands on a fortune now. Great finish from Olaf into the far corner. Lovely strike, just curling inwards towards Jonathan Van Ness, but he couldn't get anywhere near it. And it's 2-0 to Netflix fiction. What a start they've made to this game. Oh yeah, a bit of a shock. I mean, last week they looked a bit poor. Looked a bit lethargic, but they're up for it now. And uh, oh, I'm excited. Uh, one thing I've noticed about the uh, FAC team is they've got a lot of players who mistreat cats and uh, well, actually campaign a lot for the protection of cats. Um, I've got a cat myself. How's your cat doing in the midst of the lockdown, Alan? Is, uh, is Mr Jumble staying inside with you or is he roaming around? No, he sits outside and uh, looks into the window longingly. Don't know why, but he's a strange guy. And, uh, a bit like me, really. So do you not allow him in the house then? Well, I do allow him, but he's not my cat. Oh, I, I thought you said he was your cat, Alan. No, no, my neighbour's cat, but uh, I try to keep him in my garden. Oh, I see. Yeah. Bit weird, isn't it? You're weird. 
Ja Rule playing it down the right-hand side. And OJ Simpson, bit of uh, green grass to run into here for oh. Simpson as he gets to the byline. Plays it oh. in. Joe Exotic's header into the far corner. And Netflix facts have a goal back. It's their main man, Joe Exotic, once again. Oh, what a goal that was. Team effort. Ja Rule living it up. Passes it to OJ, the juice. Gas. Bang. Exotic. 2-1. Well, he leapt like a tiger, didn't he, to get to that ball. Lovely header across tiger. the goalkeeper into That's the it. far corner. Five-letter word for stripy cat. Oh, have you got it? Yeah, tiger. How do I not get that? I have to say, up front for Netflix facts, Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin seem to have put their differences aside and are linking up really well. Yeah, it's was weird, considering, you know, he wants to kill her. Um, but they do play football well together. And that can be said for a lot of people. Well, Joe Goldberg in a bit Ooh. of space down here on the right-hand side. Takes a touch and there's acres of space in the middle as well as he plays it in towards the far post. Marty Bird looks to get oh. there. Oh, but he's just overrun it and uh, gets to the ball. Plays it back now to Gus Fring, but the half-time whistle is blown. No time to put the cross in there. But what a first half that was, Alan. Oh, lovely first half. It's uh, good to be back. Can't believe I was sold out for Gary Neville, but I've forgotten about it. I'm over it. Who cares? Bring on the second half. Coming to Netflix soon, the show you've all been waiting for. It's Scoring Goals with Michael Owen. Football's all about scoring goals. Football's all about scoring goals. That was a goal. Another goal. What a goal. Scoring Goals with Michael Owen. Only on Netflix. So Joe Exotic gets us underway for this second half with his team 2-1 down. Great first half in the end from Netflix Fiction who got those two goals early on. And Fat Cubs try and find a way back into this game. Gus Fring, of course, combining with uh, Marty Bird down the left-hand side. And they seem to be getting majorly involved in the financial dealings of Netflix Fiction. Suddenly, since they've been brought into the team, the uh, transfer budget for them seems to have inflated massively. Oh well, yeah, it has, you know, they're good at dealing with money and uh, hiding stuff, so am I, and uh, I might need them to uh, help me out. Well, you can see there Count Olaf really pulling the strings in midfield. He has only travelled a distance of one kilometre in the entire Ow. game so far, though. Lazy twat. He's so not really moving around very much, but he's, uh, he's definitely controlling the midfield, isn't he, in the centre of the park? He is, and uh, just goes to show if you don't work hard, it will pay off. First substitution of the game being made now. Marty Bird is going off down the left-hand side to be replaced by the Witcher, Geralt of Rivia, coming onto the pitch. Yeah, could have an impact, you know. A bit of magic from him and bang! They might win this one. Another substitution to be made now, and this time for Netflix Fact, Carol Baskin is going off to be replaced by Lewis Graben, who's joined from Nottingham Forest. Of course, he's moved clubs uh, quite a few times in the last few years, uh, particularly from Sunderland that time when he uh, left them very last minute. But uh, hopefully he can provide a bit of uh, penetration for Netflix Fact now. Hopefully he can, and you know he, uh, he has said that he will not leave Netflix fact under any circumstance so we'll see how that turns out another substitution now Stephen Avery coming off the pitch this time to be replaced by Bob Broberg who of course scored the winning goal in such uh, fantastic circumstances in the last game he'll try and have as much of an influence on this one so Gary Neville of course after vacating the commentary booth at the start of the game is now on the touchline for us and he's uh, got a bit of transfer news from the two teams today Gary what can you tell us unbelievable really I think the Irishman's gone from Netflix fiction over to Netflix fact and I'm not really sure why I think someone might have pointed out that he actually is a real person but I don't think a lot of people realise the people who create these matches are just sort of making it up as they go along really so back to you well thanks Gary and uh, what looks to be a ludicrous decision from the oh, Netflix no. fact manager as their main man Joe Exotic has been replaced by Ted Bundy you can only assume he's got some sort of knock going on we know he's got a problem with his leg but uh, he goes off it's an interesting decision isn't it Alan yeah well, quite a strange one really I think Ted's been pretty crap and uh he always seems to pop up. He always gets a game and it really annoys me. 11 looking oh. to turn and she plays it back oh. to the Punisher who smashed it in but the flag oh. is up. It's offside. That could have been the game there for the Punisher. It was a great finish but the offside flag was raised and the goal won't oh, count. I hate it when that happens. Such an anti-climax. Ah. Well, Count Olaf going flying in with the challenge there. The referee calling it back for a foul. It looks like Olaf's going to get a yellow card. Oh, well, no, in the end. It looks like a... <laughs> Look how tall he is. Well, it was on Luca Magnotta, 
Count Olaf putting the challenge in and uh, probably doing what a lot of us would like to do to Luca Magnotta in absolutely cropping him from behind. It's a free kick to oh, Netflix, yes. in fact. Get me started, I hate him! What would you do to Luca Magnotta if he came anywhere near your dear Mr Jumbles, Alan? Well, Mr Jumbles is quite a quick cat, so I think he'd make a clean getaway. But uh, if he came near him and managed to do any damage, I think I'd, well... I don't really want to give anything away, but I'd kill him. Maybe you could then join the Netflix fact team because there'd be a documentary made about you. Well, I think there should be a documentary about me anyway. What would it be called, Alan? Alan. <laughs> <laughs> what would the documentary focus on in, in particular? Is there anything that you feel you've done is a bigger achievement than anything else you've done in your life? Well, you know, I've uh, played for Arsenal. That's a big one. Um, don't know if I've mentioned that before. And, you uh, scored a few headers, didn't you, in your time or something? Arthur Shelby here playing it into 11, who's onside. This could be a massive chance as he looks to cross oh! it. But in the end, the Una Bomber, who doesn't normally get on well with interceptions, did uh, a great job of intercepting the ball there. Another substitution being made here for Netflix. Fiction Gus Fring is going off now to be replaced by Schmidt, of course, from the series New Girl at left back. Maybe you'll have some sort of influence uh, on the game. Netflix Fiction, of course, looking to hold out with this 2-1 lead. Well, seeing as this is the Netflix Cup, we're very lucky to have Louis Theroux himself also down on the touchline. Uh, he's doing a couple of interviews for us today, and he's speaking with Joe Exotic now about some of the reasons why he was substituted earlier. What have you got for us, Louis? Yes, hi. Um, I'm down the sideline with Exotic Joe. Um, and uh, Joe... You looked quite dangerous out there. Do you think you were dangerous? I am far from dangerous for any kind of law enforcement agency or the government. Okay. Now, a lot of people at home might say, you know, um, some people didn't play too well. Um, who do you think those people were? Carol Baskin. Okay, well, thank you for taking the time to um, talk to us, Joe. Uh, you were a joy to watch. Did I hear you say you wanted my fucking watch? Okay. Really? My watch? Uh, no, I don't. You really want this fucking watch? Uh, no, no, I don't. No. Play down the right-hand oh. side here, Saul Goodman. And there's space, maybe, for one more chance for Netflix fiction. Saul Goodman, there's uh, players arriving in the penalty area as Goodman plays it in. It's the Witcher! Oh! And it's 3-1. Lovely header from the Witcher, who's come off the bench oh, to settle the victory for Netflix fiction. Oh, no, what's happened to him? Was it? Oh, I need to go help him. He's collapsed. Hang oh, on. no, it's okay, And I think it was just his celebration. Oh. He's got back up and he's absolutely fine. Oh. Brilliant header from him. Oh, what a goal. And uh, I was worried then that he'd had a cardiac arrest. Then I forgot he's a fictional character. It doesn't exist. And there indeed is the final whistle. It was the last kick of the game, that goal from the Witcher. Netflix fiction winning this in the end, 3-1. And, of course, Netflix fact winning the first game means we go to a third game to decide the Netflix Cup. Fantastic action we've seen today. The Witcher coming off the bench to grab that third goal deep into stoppage time. But a brilliant match, wasn't it, Alan? Really enjoyed that. Oh, great match, and uh, I'm happy with the... Uh result and I need to go feed Mr Jumble so see you later. Well thank you very much everybody for watching as normal really hope you've enjoyed this and you're enjoying the Netflix Cup bit of extra celebrity FIFA action for you midweek. Uh, do drop a like on the video if you're enjoying all the content and thank you by the way from me and from Alan Smith for 20,000 subscribers on the channel. Absolutely incredible stuff. We really really appreciate all your support but until next time this is Sunnage signing out goodbye. <laughs>